Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Dice Hero run. And today I'm gonna be doing a run with the Traveler. Most likely the last run we're gonna do today. The simple uh, starting character here. I also haven't done a run with the Knight or uh, the Sorcerer for that matter, but I think those characters might be a bit weird-ish. Not that weird, but weird-ish. So let's go with the Traveler and see how this goes. You know, simpler start, simple character. Hopefully gonna get a busted run going. Uh, we can start with the D8. Upgrade an item. Should I try to go for crazy upgrading my items? I don't think so. I think just going for a blessing or an item is the play. Either a new one. Or I can even see what the upgrade is. Okay, so the sword gets whatever I add into it plus times 1.5. Okay, that's good. And then uh, I can even use it twice. And then the wooden shield is uh, either it... Uh, what's the difference here? Up to three dice. Or it's either it also gives us strength. That still needs exactly three. Now we're going to go with the sword. Let's go with a crazy sword play here. Uh, okay, let's uh, plot out our path. I am seeing the elite plus the town here, so I do enjoy this bottom path. And then go up and head this elite again. Uh, although, why would I do that if I can go item and elite? Uh, you know, item and blessing. And then like here and another blessing. And then an event. And then here and another blessing. And then another blessing. And then items and another blessing. Yeah, I think I enjoy that path. So, let's go there. I might be wrong about how many of the things we find, but I do enjoy this. Danger. So, let's hope this is going to be a lead fight. Okay, it is a lead fight, so we're going to get our items worth here. So, we're going to attack. Uh, this needs two time. Oh, this needs two dice. I just realized the power of the sword, which, um, you know, might not even be any power at all. Let's go. <laughs> the rusty sword is what we're going to use here to attack. 3 and 3 is 9, and then 3 and 1 is... Yeah, let's attack. I don't care about the wooden shield for now. Although I should have definitely went for the triple... Uh, yeah, I should have definitely started with one more arrow. Uh, not arrow, one more dice. That would definitely be a lot more helpful for us. It doesn't matter for now. We just go for the damage. Uh, we take damage, we do damage. And uh, at the end of this fight, we're gonna see where we're gonna be at. Most likely gonna get a blessing out of this fight. Missed. Because they didn't have enough... I was gonna get an extra D4. Not really that important. Yeah, it's gonna still just do, I guess, whatever this die rolled in damage. Yep, four. At this point, we are going to win. Uh, unless we somehow do <laughs> no damage for once, imagine. But still, we're good to go. So, added up, created our blessing. We're gonna go blessing, start massing them. Strength every three turn, or just start with two fortified. I'm gonna still start with two fortified. That can easily save you a lot of health throughout the run. So let's just do that. Go against an hour elite. Literally the same fight I just had. Hopefully first round we're gonna take zero. I mean hopefully we're literally gonna take zero first round. And I'm gonna get an hour blessing out of this fight. So we're still gonna be stuck with uh, the exact same amount of dice that we previously had. It's a bit sad that you cannot really quick cast. Like I can't press 1, 2, 3, 4 to just in invent into this. So I have to click, click, click everything. There is no number system here. QWASD. Nothing do anything like no matter what. Uh, the letters I'm pressing on my keyboard. 12 damage incoming. Very nice. And even more damage is even more incoming. We continue just smacking with the sword here. I definitely don't believe it was worth it to start with the upgrade on the sword. But it's okay. We can easily handle this. D4. We're gonna get another blessing out of this fight. So that means that we're still not gonna have dice. But as we said, the, the first I do one fight with a non-elite enemy. Where we're not gonna get a blessing. We're gonna get our attacks. The reason I go for Blessing is because that's the things that's carrying in this game. Blessing, okay. Uh, single use items have more use, 5 damage per round for free, or whenever I get 3D block, 45 one Uh, This is good, and this is good. I think I wanna go with uh, the reroll. <laughs> Empty hand is an uppercut, if I die, I know 9, 3D block, 45, let's go 3D block, 45s. We're gonna go in a Blessing here again. Let's get the Blessing. Uh, and our offhand slot. Yeah, that's gonna give us a punch. And I lose 4 if I gain block. That combos with this. I guess for early... Um, I guess for early game I should go for 5 damage per round. Let's roll these actually. Whenever you take damage, opponent gets 3 burn. Strength every 3 return. I'll get a d20 on the very first turn. Let's go with a d20 on the very, very first turn. Let's go up. And chicken. Try to climb up or explore. Let's do try to climb up. Managed to climb out of the hole. Ah, that was a mistake. Should have definitely explored, I guess. Let's go up here. Blessings, boiling blood. Wait, what? Never enemy takes damage, you gain three burn. Okay. 
Well, uh, as far as I know, this uh, fight is something at the very end. It's going to explode or something. So we're just going to hope here for a quick win. Yeah, I'm getting three burn, but whatever. There's nothing. Now it's going to... Yeah, for example, now it's going to be three. So it's going to skip one, two, three, and then uh, get stuck into it. Now it does nothing. So theoretically, this fight should be easy. Skips one, two, three. And now it's going to be stuck and does nothing twice. I will be losing life from burn, but it's okay. I have still not never seen what this thing's attack is. But it doesn't matter because we win. Out of die, the time has come. Uh, into an item we go. We open the item. Uh, oh, the this game had a patch. This used to be S divided by 20. Now it's S equal to 20. So the dev is watching our videos and definitely patch this thing up. Remove a random blessing from an enemy. This is, of course, busted. And we're going to take this. Removing random blessings is very powerful. Now, theoretically, if the dev did actually patch this game, we will not be able to remove blessings from specific enemies. Just to be clear about this, like we did in my first run. Empty hand is not cut. We still don't have an empty hand. Burn opponents. When I gain block, I gain strength. Uh, I mean, I guess I could go for a super defensive build. I think I want to roll here. There are so many better items. Heal 10 at the end of each combat. Start with 5 endurance, 5 fatigue. This is godlike if I can take this later, but for now I think I need the regen to fix my whole uh, issue with healing. Let's get an item. Not a mimic, nice. Uh, if, if you roll exactly 15, deal uh, as many dice as you use to get the 15 in damage, and then give the enemy attacks. Are you crazy? Attack is that they attack more often. No, 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 no. <laughs> we roll die or get a she an armor. Up to two dice. Give armor blast. Let's cut. We roll my die. Let's continue our blessing. Yep, I don't care about healing, honestly. Get an additional item reward whenever we find items. Or when I lose 45, gain block. I mean, losing 45 giving us block is a good combo with 3D block gives us 45. Let's roll these, though. Uh, I guess we're going to go with 45 block. Here we're going to go event. Hoping it's going to be... Not a fight. <laughs> Not hoping that's going to be an elite fight. Okay, I mean, we lose on every roll. Poisonous. Um, yeah, that's going to be bad. Let's go with a good old 28. Let's uh, re-roll a 2. Re-roll a 1. Okay. Uh, actually, I should have just straight up done this. I got poisoned for no reason. Now we're going to punch here. Wait, and then I'm not going to be able to shield, though. I mean, this guy's gonna poison us anyway, so shielding is not a thing. I should have re-rolled. Wait, what happened? Did I bug something out? It felt like I just found a bug. Poison 6. I have 9 life, so we will... Our borderline dying. So, let's re-roll this 3. Roll this... Roll... No, re-roll this 1. So, let's say I use the 4 and the 3 in the sword. So, if I now roll this 1, at some for some reason it refreshes these. Yo, Dev, I found a bug. I don't know, I'm a bug magnet, man. I am a bug magnet. I, I really don't know how I do that. Uh, theoretically, I should heal, but I ju did just heal. So I'm gonna go add a die. Uh, first of all, I want to have enough dice to literally not need to do anything. Boiling blood. You know what? We know that this chicken does nothing. Especially because we're gonna remove the boiling blood. So we're gonna instantly be like, yep, boiling blood is gone. And I'm gonna do... Look at this. I'm gonna do 4 plus a 13. Then 7. And now if I theoretically reroll this, it's gonna fix these. No, it didn't fix those. Hmm. I really don't get what the trigger is. Like, can I roll this, for example? If I roll the two? Yeah, I really don't know what the trigger is. There is some kind of trigger that actually gives us my, my dice back. I can do that again, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay, this, this is like a crazy bug we found. But it's okay. By the way, this here, that when you lose 45, you gain 20 block. And that also functions if the 45 is not lost specifically by hand. Like, even if it's just lost because you it ran out. Like, not just specifically because opponents attacked us. Add a die, I would say. And then we start upgrading them. Yeah, I think we're good with how many die we have. Dice we have. Blessing for sure. Keep 20 more block. This got crazy buffed. Add an additional refresh when you select an item or blessing. Whenever you take damage. You know what? This is actually really good. Maintaining almost every single point of block. Unless they made it so that block goes down faster. Start with 5 strength. Perfect. We know that's a god item. And now we just need the blessing that says maintain the buffs for longer. Okay. Um, add any uses to another item. 
if I use two dice for this, first of all, I'm starting with five strength, so this is literally impossible to happen. Wow, uh, Dev, why is there such a um, such a focus on specifically specific numbers, especially if you have a like right now, just because of the fact that I have this power up, this is not usable like at all. Now you might say the strength lasts only for one turn. Yeah, I get that. But the thing is, I'm going to obviously focus to get the other thing that makes this thing last five turns. So this is going to become extremely useless after that happens. Uh, two pair. Block times three. This is decent. Reveal one secret. I, I don't care about this. Let's roll. Maybe we're going to get a weapon. Iron sword. One die. S plus two damage. Mm. Or if I roll an exact ten in this, I get strength up to once per turn you know what this is good with so many single dice we have i can throw like five dice into this six dice into this and we're gonna get like six strength up to three dice gain uh, as many yeah as much you rolled into block remove 75 block up the turn keep 20 percent more block remove remove 75 percent of the block at the end of turn wow this got nerfed to the ground this used to be you lose 25% of the block. Now you lose 75% of the block. Wow, the game just got changed immensely. Man, guys, everybody who's going to play this in the future, I'm sorry that the game changed that much. If you have more than however many dice you throw into this time, 90, 35 block, deal damage equal to block, remove all block. So if I use three dice into this, then if I have more than 150 block, uh, more than, uh, not 150, what am I talking about? 105. If I have more than 105 block after I use 3 dice, the opponent use 105 life and I lose all my block. No, not really. Let's go with the trinket here. Which I can't even use, so let's go town. Let's get a blessing as always. We're gonna go to a boss with like 29 life. Yolid. Revive, armor slot, roll these. Here we go. For 5 turns, I'm super powered. I told you we're gonna do that combo. Starts with rage, which I'm gonna remove of course, unless it's not possible. What is this exclamation mark? Excuse me? I don't know. Remove that. What is this equipment mark? I don't know. I guess the new item I got. So, um, yeah, let's begin. This is a very low, 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 low roll. 15 is decent. Let's take these two. Fire of 3d9. He's about to do some damage to us, which means I should theoretically block. Uh, let's roll this to get back. <laughs> Bugs! -na -na -na. I'm abusing them. Do -do -do. <laughs> uh, and we got our fortify. So, yeah, we're done here. I definitely need another main hand so I can get another weapon to use. Okay, now I cannot use this. Because otherwise, I will uh, gain burn equal to S on use. Remove ignite at the end of turn. Burn. Okay, I mean, I can remove burn anyway. So, that's not an issue for us. This is a 2. Let's roll the 2, please. It's still a 2. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's take these and put it in here. I have 17 burn. So, theoretically now, by rolling the 6... We get these back. So can I now do something like uh, this plus this plus this for 26 block, removing my burn. Burn is not additive. Our burn value plus lower. Deals damage equal to burn at the end of turn. Block negates burn. Okay, so we're going to block that burn is what that means. Uh, let's roll the six. Getting our numbers back. But I don't want to throw it in there because we're going to take even more fire damage. I'm okay with what we have. Okay, you missed because I have a... Oh, you missed because you were trash. That's good too. Let's roll this. Okay, I'm good with a double nine, to be honest. Roll one of those. Uh, and roll this one. 11 and 9 is even better. And I'll roll this one. Because black magic, I guess. And also a 29 block. Would have enjoyed if we could have gotten the shield, but whatever. So how much shield do I lose? Is it written? Remove 75 block. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say. Okay, so let's uh, not re-roll anything. Actually, I think I have to roll first for the re-roll magic to even be possible. Uh, by the way, there is an insane damage incoming, right? Oh, they removed it. Oh, this boss doesn't do 100 to me and 100 to the opponent anymore. Or was that an outer boss? It might have been an outer boss. Regardless, though, we continue with our, with our re-roll shenanigans. You know, we find a bug that is helpful for us. We obviously abuse it. Also enjoy the fact that the opponent is literally not even able to uh, attack us. We roll these. Continue using the sword twice. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't even need to roll. Like, I I'm just abusing this for the funsies. Uh, I could have gone with a triple nine. There isn't really that much of a difference. Yep. Seven and two. Let's roll this into a ten. Nope. Uh, you know what? Ten and eight is good. Let's try to roll this again. We'll continue with seven and eight. Let's roll this again. 
Yeah, whatever. Let's continue. We're just amassing shielding here. Until we win. Now the opponent has more dice. And now I'm a lot weaker. <laughs> so now we go here. Reroll. Here again. Reroll. And then we're gonna go here. Now my strength is gone. My power is gone. My damage is gone. It's gonna take a while until we win, but... Nice, we got a 6. 6 and 4 is decent. Let's also roll the 2. Ah, 6 and 4 is still decent. Might as well roll the 1. 6 and 3 and 4. Shield, go. 25 shield. Boom, we just got hit for a million. <laughs> Let's roll this just in case it becomes better. Ah, 4 plus 4 is 6. Quick maps. I'm kidding, of course, that's a joke. Should have rerolled the 1 earlier. Hey, okay, that thing is useless. Opponent has 90 life. We're still shielding as much as we can. I mean, I'm literally doing the best I can do. Nice. 6 and 4 is good. Uh, should have used this, the other 4. So that I can roll this into a maybe 6. Nice. You see, that's what I should have done in the first place. 15 shield. Nothing to be afraid of. Opponent plays one card at a time. Roll this into a go 5. Nope. 4 and 4. Throw this in here. Try to roll it into 5. Still a 4 and 4. 4 and 4. Throw it in there. Try to roll this still in a 5. Nope. 4 and 4 and 4 into the shield pass. We're gonna take some burn. That's okay. It's exactly how much we're blocking. I uh, roll this first. Nice. 6 and uh, 3. So I can roll this 3. Roll this 3 into a 6. Nice. Double 6s. I can roll in a 1. And then we're gonna go like super defense. And opponent has 1 life. So we won at this point. You can be like boom boom done. Easy win. Slow and steady wins the race. That's the power of us. Let's go to the D20 rice, I would say. Who cares about trinkets and whatnot? Uh, blessings. Kithin Berry and Venomous Blood on related protection. And this is nothing. Dice 2, secret dice 2. I guess we're gonna go against the Scarab. Because this has 45 life though. It's Kithin Berry or Venomous Blood on relating protection. I mean, Venomous Blood definitely is that it's poisonous. So we're gonna go most likely this path. What is this? Health 88. We know the shade has like a million um, blocks. We know that from the first time we fought her. Maybe I want to go here. Defect. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go up and then like down into the blessing here. Blessing here most likely lose. I mean, this gives us a d20 as far as I remember. So down here. Blessing, blessing, or blessing, and then that path. And blessing again. What is this? This is new. Anyway, off into the bottom we shall go then. Yeah, because this has a 50 barriers. I'm better fighting a 90 life opponent. Which, by the way, still has 90 life, so... I once again forgot to look into my thing. Damage, thorns, damage, block, damage. 90 life and starts with a 45. We got a 22 and a, and a crazy number over here. 9, are you serious? Nice, we're gonna go this. Kaboomy. Roll this into the... here. Nice, we got the numbers back. Kaboom. I cannot roll for the shielding, but... It's okay. They don't have a passive even. Let's just throw away one of my two big, atta big attacks. I think I did, but I don't also think it matters. Missed, because it didn't have a triple pair. That's a good number. This is also a good number. Throw these in here. And we won. Very nice. Add a die or upgrade a die. Mm, I'm gonna say upgrade a die. We already have so many. Start making those higher numbers into even higher numbers. Event into event. I would say open an item. Nice. Super charge an item. Gain use at the end of the turn. And then when I use it, you can earn equal to burn equal to use on items on the turn, remove mold. Okay, so this is obviously to supercharge the holy water. Otherwise, there is no reason for us to have this. Iron sword is a sword, and then the block is a shield behind. Let's roll here. Nice, we found an armor piece. So if I give it six exactly, I doubled my block. Or an offhand item. Uh, up to two dice, deal. Wait a minute, what's this? Trinket. S equal three, enemy gets weakness. Uh, weakness is that ah, yeah based on how many that yeah this is completely useless like a one use item that if you put exactly three in it like who does that then the opponents get a weakness as much as how many dice you gave it so if you give it three ones then it's three weakness for one turn wow let's go with doubling our block one this is also trash these are all trash S burn I mean S burn is good. Like the if if I put a 3D into this, the opponent's gonna start taking 29, 28, 27. Like this is good. I mean it's useful. Uh we're gonna go against this guy. Yeah, we're going for the blessing, not for the item. Fight! Let's hope it's an elite. Let's hope it's an elite. It is an elite, and it's very dangerous at that. Still, this didn't press that. Whenever enemy takes damage, poison, burn, fortify, 
every two turns it gets fortified and an attacker return. Okay, YOLO. If we got rid of the poison, which was the most deadly one, but 45 every two turns is also gonna be bad, especially with thorns. It's gonna be a very bad fight. 11 and 13. You know what? Uh, I'm willing to reroll the six here. Let's attack here and roll this. And that became worse. Uh, actually, let's use the shield now. So I know I can make this better. Nice. And now we can attack like this. Yeah, we got a lot of damage onto him very quickly. So at least that's a thing. Let's block. Okay, they healed. And gain a million thorns. And now it also got the fortify. So this rolled very low. Four out of ten that it can roll. Let's roll this. Okay, that isn't really that much, but let's go here. 54. I mean no 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 no. That's a 45. So first we're gonna go with a big shield on us. And we're gonna roll this again. Uh now I'm pretty much forced to attack anyway. I know they have 45. Actually, honestly speaking, I can't even do anything against this fortify. Like, really, I like there was nothing to be done. Okay, 3D do damage, fortify that. In some block. Now the time has come to start blasting. This is high roll, this is low roll. Nice. Let's go here. We're gonna lose life, but nothing to be done. Fortify, I mean, Thorns is pretty much busted in this game. Roll the D6. Let's go here again. And roll the whatever. And let's go here. Very nice. And he has 3 life, so... I mean, now he has 20, but doesn't matter. He's gonna get the 2 thorns again. Yep. Very, very nice fight, to be honest. And by to be honest, I mean literally not honest. Get a super shield, roll whatever. Uh, unless there is some kind of crazy mechanic that I'm not aware of, as of why this bug is happening. Maybe I have some kind of secret passive that I'm not aware of. I definitely need more attacks to be able to pierce through... Um his shielding. I would like to get a dagger, to be honest. I would really like to get a dagger. Okay, let's uh, let's win this. Right in one turn. And I did 54, yeah. And of course I got hit, regardless. I cannot avoid the fire. Add a die, blessing, heal, upgrade a die. Let's go with blessing, as always. Items that start with an item start with more of them. Let's go with this, yeah. That means that we're gonna have two holy waters right away. Defect. Or go shade. Now we're gonna go here. I hate the shade. It makes you extremely weak. Uh, this guy starts with two weakness every turn. Wait, what? It becomes weaker every turn? What? What? Why? I guess to make the game fair. I don't know. Or I guess so that it has a low roll so it can throw 50,000 things. In. Yeah, like if, if it gets exactly 10. The opponent's card, by the way, did not get fixed. It still is S divided by 10. So let's see how this goes. We're gonna, of course, allow the weakness to persist. For sure. Especially for this part. So, um, yeah, let's go blasting. This is a low roll. Are you serious? We're gonna use these two right now. Actually, we're gonna use these three. Block. Now we're gonna roll this again. Ah, uh, five. I guess we're gonna use these two. Roll this again. Ah. It is what it is. We won anyway. I don't know why I tried to min max here. <laughs> Added our upgrade that. We're gonna... Continue upgrading die. We want god dice. Let's go with uh, one good one. Play. Let's go into chance. Hoping it's like an item for free. Nice, it is an item for free. We can get a helmet for 45 when rolling exactly 20. Every turn get a 45. Uh, this could be useful. Like every single turn getting a 45. Or activate all your dice again. I mean, we have that by cheating. Borderline. I guess I would like to find a new weapon. Okay, we found a katana, so throwing three things in the katana is good. Or a heal, which we know for a fact is busted. Like, this is very much busted. Enemy skips the next action. Or katana. I think we're gonna go for the katana. Uh, I'm not gonna use it right now, but if I find our main hand, I'm gonna throw the katana in. So, let's get the katana for the future. Let's go here. Uh, can I see what the blinking is? Mm, there isn't really something crazy here. The D20 is the smallest 20 in there ever. <laughs> Not even visible. Blessing against upgrade an item. Uh, if the sword is more upgradable. Oh yeah. Times two. What does the katana get? Two dice. Okay, so you can consume the dice a lot faster if you go for the katana. Let's go with double damage on the sword. We continue with the sword play. Maybe katana was a bad choice too. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I mean, we have so many die. We definitely want to... Have things to avenues to use them for. 
Okay, first we're gonna go with a block. Because that was a very failed attempt here with a reroll. Okay, still a very failed attempt, but at least it's a 10. 60 damage. Okay, okay. We're getting we're getting somewhere with the damage though. We're definitely getting somewhere with the damage. Upgrade the die, we're gonna continue with that aspect. Let's make some D12s. Let's go get a blushing. Strength. Main hand. Found it. Very nice. I knew that's what's gonna happen. And I need an offhand to also get the, this thing going. Uh, we're gonna obviously go and fight the elite here. Actually, the bottom elite. Yeah, we, we, we have a plan planned out. Bottom elite, this this path. Let's not stray from the path. Okay, I mean, you're not gonna survive. So, here, reroll. Oh, the bug didn't happen. Wait, what? Uh, well, we have the katana to get a win, but... We need to pay attention on how exactly the bug happens. <laughs> uh, upgrade the die. That's uh, this is done. I could make it into a all, all, always ones or twelves, and by making it an always ones or twelves, if I reroll it, we can straight up just get the twelve, or just go with an average increasing in dice stop power. So let's go with that, <laughs> which is a bit safer in my opinion. An average power creep. So first we reroll. I think that's how you trigger the bug. Then you pick these up. Throw them to the opponent, and then when you reroll a new thing, it fixes the previous ones. Yeah, that seems to be the trick. And we just insta-kill that guy. Well, katana go. Wow, we, we are very high on DPS. Ah, that blessing, I would say. An offhand, very nice. Exactly what I wanted. Into the offhand you shall go. So now I can even up to two dice to burn the opponent. The burn burn is specifically good for a one and only one reason. When burn is applied, remove thorn equal to applied value. So if I apply burn 30, boom, 30 thorns are gone. Without me taking damage, without me taking anything. So I can forgo enemy having thorns. So that is the main aspect of why burn is important. Let's go blessing. Upgrade an item. We know we can upgrade the katana. Should I upgrade the katana? You know what? Let's upgrade the katana. Oh, this upgrades even more. Oh, it makes the damage into poison or burn. Definitely not burn. Poison, yes, though. Deals damage equal to poison at the end of turn. And at the end of turn, half that poison. But this uh, removes the double damage aspect of it. So if I throw, let's say, 30 into this, it's going to be 60 damage. And then another 30 because I'm going to refresh the die. And now there's 60. So that's 120 damage. If I throw the same two numbers into this, it's going to be 60 poison. 60 poison is 60 damage this turn, plus 30 damage the next turn, plus 15 damage the next turn, right? So let's say then a second round happens. I throw the same numbers into this. This is going to be at 120 at that point, uh, like, right? Because it's 30 plus 30 times 2 times 2 is 60 plus 60, 120. And then another, the same numbers again, it's going to be another 120. So that's going to be a 240 at the se a second round. This is going to be 60 from the poison and then down to 30. And then with the next 60, that's going to bring it up to 90 poison. Therefore, they're going, the pawn's going to take 90 from this round and another 60 from the previous round. That would be, um, I mean, 60 and 90 is 150, uh, while this is at 240. The next round, this is going to be at 360. And this from 90 poison down to 45, plus 60 poison, that's 105. 105 plus 150, that's 250. I mean, this still maintains more damage. Unless I'm wrong about how these calculations are happening, but I, what I understand is this thing is going to be doing a lot more damage. This thing is going to be doing a lot more consistent damage. Um, I might be wrong about this, but the main aspect is that poison is pretty much double damage, but slower, right? That's what you have to always remember. Like, 100 damage in poison means 100 plus 50 plus 25 plus uh, 12 plus 6, whatever. And all those numbers add up to double damage. That's how the calculation happens. So why would I throw away my instant, uh, so, you know, my instant double damage? for a slow double damage and even if you tell me yeah but 90 poison is gonna become you know 100 poison is gonna become 50 poison and then if you add another 100 poison on top of that that's gonna become 150 poison at the next turn that does not matter that, that literally does not matter to the math of this um you can sit down and test numbers and you're gonna see that it doesn't matter that poison is cumulative it always just straight up does double the damage of what is written on it poison is crazy busted and um op when the poison goes down at one at a time but if the poison goes down at 
half the per, per piece, it's useless. Like, it, it literally means double damage, but slowing, slow double damage. Burn, on the other hand, just is wh whatever the number you say it is, is. So, for example, if I do 50, po 50 burn, it's going to be 50 plus 49 plus 48. But then if I add another 50 burn, it's going to be, again, 50 plus 49. Plus. It's not going to... It just puts a, a high point in it and then slowly trickles down. It doesn't add up. So, there is no reason to go for burn. We're not going to upgrade that. I'm sorry for this whole, you know, slowly going through the whole uh, how it works mechanics. But I just want to make sure everybody is cut up on that. We're going to go with the katana here we're gonna continue with this throwing two dice at a time onto our issues and uh into another scarab battle yeah let's go into the sand scarab battle so let's go up i hope i didn't uh tire you out i would say let's get a blessing instead of upgrade our item because if this upgrades again the same things i will pretty much be forced to upgrade the wooden shield although i'm okay with upgrading the wooden shield to be honest so let's go upgrade an item wait what this was not previously here excuse me but what I can only have one cho the choice out of three items to upgrade. Are you serious? Up to three die to deal the same poison and the burn damage. Um, or give us three strength while you're at it. I'm going to say let's go with three strength while you're at it. Having crazy scaling stats and numbers is good. And of course, we're going to start throwing first everything into the shield and then everything into else. Uh, this guy doesn't have a passive. So first of all, we're going to reroll a good old six on the d12. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, super shield. Get a mega shield. Now we're gonna roll a random nine here. Boom, get my numbers back. Uh, throw it into the 88. Get my numbers back. Throw it into the 88. Get my num. I can't get my numbers back. And now we start throwing into the katana. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do this. And then we're also gonna be applying burn. Upgraded dice is what I would say. Let's continue with high number dice. And uh, let's run it up for another blessing or upgrade, to be honest. Maybe we're gonna go with upgrades today. Maybe we're gonna go with upgrades. Okay, I got two dice, super dice. First of all, we're gonna set up the bug. Then we're gonna go with a triple shield. Then we're gonna continue with the bug tactics. 108. Oh no, he had 45. Guess what? Another 108. Easy enough. Easy enough. Let's go with upgraded die again. Now, on the whole poison aspect, you can, you know, fight me. I guess poison bypasses a lot of things. Like, poison bypasses thorns. Poison bypasses... Uh, fortify like that. That's the upside of poison, but otherwise, it's the same with just doing double damage. Let's go with upgrade an item, I would say. Uh, we got katana again, which is that it does double damage with three dice from S plus three, two dice. It became S times two, three dice. Of course, we're gonna change it, but it says that uses two. That's not a detriment for us. The fact that we can use it less times doesn't matter. It's gonna still take away six of our dice and it's still gonna do a lot more damage. So that is a good. Um, opponent starts with 1045, which I have to eat through before we take the 100 damage attack. Uh oh. We got an issue. This, this fight's gonna go very quickly, very sideways. Let's roll this. 820. Let's take my three good ones 55 block and three strength. Uh, he doesn't have any passive, by the way, so I can't really use a trinket for any reason. Maybe should have gone with my other items. Anyway, let's roll the six here. Nice, it became something good. Let's go with double, triple attack into the katana. 128 against 92 here. Yeah, we're gonna definitely go for a triple attack. Kaboom. Let's roll this five. Descent, one, two, three. Triple attack, 128 again. I mean, there is no difference here. I don't know why I'm trying to specifically min-max how much damage we do. Uh, you know what I should actually min-max? Burning the opponent. So let's apply some burn. Yep, this burn is gonna start damaging him, actually. And let's pass. Yeah, get an attack. Get hit by the burn. 22, wow. <laughs> 645 we have to eat through. So the opponent's gonna amass power now. Attack twice, it's gonna do burn and also this again. So it's gonna do these two now. And then next turn it's gonna do 100 damage, heal and attack again. Like this is gonna go out of hand extremely fast. Like extremely fast we're gonna lose control of this fight. Triple shield I would say. 62 block and 3 strength. We roll a 1. Get, um, get the katana to attack. Yeah, still fortified, whatever. Get a whatever. Attack with the katana. Attack with the sword. Attack with the sword. And uh, here I can prove to you that burn's not gonna even change. You see, he had 22. Boom, still 22. Like, that's how burn works. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I have my 45 and whatnot. 100 damage incoming. I mean, I still have my 445, so I don't care about that. Uh, let's reroll a low one. By the way, we're always gonna have 45 as long as we have the super shield. And as long as I'm using and abusing my super tankiness. 
Okay, he has two fortifies, so I'm gonna now waste low rolls and go for the big katana place. So let's go here. Army 54, very nice. Big katana place, army 54, kaboom! Now we can even use some die for as much burn as possible. So I'm gonna say 18 and 18, 36 burn. Very nice. And uh, we have five. We have five fortifies, so zero damage taken. Let him heal. And this guy's gonna start amassing power and slowly. But that doesn't matter. He's gonna explode on, him on, on himself. We have four fortifies. He has zero. He's about to explode again. We're gonna roll this for sure. And now we're gonna go super katana attack. 144. But before we do that, we're gonna go super shield. Roll this. Now we're gonna go with super katana attack. Should have definitely rolled this, by the way. 162. Roll this. Nice. Not this one. Here and here. 162 again. Now we go for a big old smack. 84. By the way, I should definitely try to do double rerolls. I'm gonna min-max this. Add a d20, add a trinket, add a blessing. So first of all, if I get a trinket, we get even more strength gain. But this says flat out 10. So this is useless. This is not usable. Um, so we're gonna go for a d20. So we have bigger numbers going on. Boiling blood and rage. Easy to dismiss. Rage and disable. By the way, this universe did not used to have that many question marks. And also definitely did not used to have um, chickens. Like chickens did not exist. Void explosive chicken. Uh, I would like to see what this fight looks like. Just so we know, you know. Just so we know. Let's see what the void explosive chicken looks like. Remove all block from player. And then instantly explode. Ah, and it starts with 10 fortify and maintains itself. Well, I also have fortify. So removing block is irrelevant to us. This is not a very fair fight, but you know what? We're gonna remove both of its passive, so it does one thing and then the other. One thing and then the other, but in the very first turn it's gonna maintain attack. Wait a minute, did they calculate? Did they realize that this thing was gonna... This used to have as a passive that it gains one more attack every turn, and it also has that it maintains the stack of attacks for two turns. So first turn it was gonna use both, second turn it was gonna use both again, twice, and then like three times in the third attack. Well, doesn't matter, we bypass all of that issue. Roll this. Get my uh, decent-ish big numbers into my shield. Okay, let's roll uh, this, I guess. Let's now get these three numbers into my sword. And also these two numbers into the flame. Roll or whatever. Get all the numbers back. And this time, we're gonna throw these into the fire. Mistakes were made, that's literally not possible. Okay, and I think we're good to go. Let's go. I have 345, so... I don't care. I could 100 damage. I took zero. By the way, the game is literally trying to insta-kill you. <laughs> Not sure if it's visible, but uh, game be like. That was a lot of damage that was just thrown onto us. Let's roll this. Okay, the guy has still a bunch of 45, so might as well go for this play. 42 flame. And then also 20 plus 15 on a sword attack. Then we roll these. Let's go... It doesn't matter what attacks we do, because at the end of the day, it's still fortified. So, we just need my fortify. As long as I have my fortify, we're good to go. Yeah, we lose the block. We both take 100. Got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. And still has one more double attack to go through. I still have my fortify. Still has 41 fire. I mean, we're winning here, so let's just end this. I'm gonna go boom. And then we're gonna go boom. 132 damage. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay, we don't want to fight that chicken again. That was a bad fight. Uh, I'm gonna go with upgraded eye. And we're gonna continue with going for big numbers. Yeah, getting more dice don't really help us with anything. At least I hope this doesn't start with a million fortifies. Two fortifies is okay. My dice are disabled, but we can easily handle that. Add cheesy order to random player item. Remove cheese. What is this? Cheesy order. Trigger enemy attack on use. You're not even gonna do that. You're gonna die in one turn. So first of all, we're gonna do the classic tactic of re-roll. This. This. Okay, classic tactic has completely failed us. Uh, I literally cannot do anything. Yeah, we can only use this. Apply 22 burn. Yep. Tactics be damned. Did I just bug the game out? Uh, I just bugged the game out. Yep. Why is that a thing? I, I bugged the game out. So, abandon run, reset run, return. Quit. Reset, run, not fight, abandon, run, or quit. Don't do this to me. Don't don't tell me that because I pressed this. Okay, uh, there is literally no solution to this. 
I'm sorry that the game is gonna end here. Uh, I'm gonna now press... Um, I don't want to press this, obviously. So I'm gonna press quit. Hoping that if I open the game up again, we're gonna have some kind of save story, same save state. I don't know why demo games don't tend to do... Like, you really need to have a save state in your games. Yeah, uh, are we stuck? Yep, we lost everything. So we just literally lost everything. Can't do anything about this. I guess, you know what? This is this is a very welcome loss. I know, very anticlimactic, am I right? But it's a very welcome loss for the following reason. We lived by the bug, we died by the bug. That's what I have to say. Like, I abused the bug a bit too much, and at the very end it came back and bited us. Uh, now, if you want to see a full-on run that destroys this game, you can watch yesterday's run. Hopefully a card's gonna appear at the top right. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna play off the, from this game. Like, there are so many other games out there that I want to try, so most likely tomorrow I'm gonna play something else. Not the same game. So I hope you guys are excited about that. I think we played enough of this to the point where we first just, um, you know, in the very first run, if you look back into it, I was able to control what the opponents do. On the second run, I literally didn't care about what the opponents did. We just were doing 115 to 100 and 500 damage per round, instantly destroying everything. We broke the game completely. And today, you know, in a classic Sift fashion, we found a bug that <laughs> actually destroyed and broke the game completely. So um, I, I think I achieved everything, you know, every check marker on the list. You know, first abuse mechanics, second use the mechanics to break the game and thirdly uh, literally use bugs to have fun and break the game in the more uh, traditional manner of breaking something so i hope you guys enjoyed i really had a lot of fun now i'm pretty sure these bugs are gonna get ironed out i mean i'm telling you like from from yesterday where i was playing the game they already changed instead of being you know s divided by 10 for an effect it now s equal to 10 which uh, I'm completely against how hard it is to use some things that have S equal to 10 or S equal to 4. But still, it just goes to show that the dev is like, no, that's the mechanic I want to have. So I'm just going to write it differently so it's visible what I mean. Which at that point, I'm okay with it, right? Like, it's not like they nerfed anything. But uh, just from one video where I was like a bit negative on the, I guess, how it looks like part of the game the dev already made changes from there so uh, at least that is something awesome that this game has that the dev seems to be very active also i have read him in uh, i have read in the comments you know uh, he is definitely watching these playthroughs and most likely today it's gonna you know hey dev <laughs> i guess at the end here you're gonna be something talking about something about the bug i don't know but we definitely broke this i just want to mention that you definitely definitely need to add some kind of safe system in these games because there is no worse thing than a bug killing a whole run completely out, right? Right? Because that's what happened. A bug straight up destroyed the whole run. And, you know, these are those interactions with games where you're just like, you know what? This game just made me waste 42 minutes of my life. I'm never going to play it again. Like, that's, that's one of those very, very um uh, dangerous traps that bugs can bring into your game like a full-on hard locking games or soft locking games destroying the run because there is no safe system in place now of course the game is a demo so i'm not expecting it to have that and it's very obvious that the bug is gonna get ironed out and whatnot um, but you know that that's also that that also goes towards any other dev ever by the way like I'm playing so many bullet heaven bullet hells and like all of those games never have a mid run save system like if you if the game crashes or if you lag out the game too much or if you make some crazy build that makes everything freeze you lose the run on the spot like it doesn't matter if you're playing for 40 minutes so once again not really an issue in this game this is more of a broader philosophical aspect of all these games that are demo and don't have save systems and honestly as I said game is fun you can go and play it in itch.io as far as I know. Link should be in the description about where you can play it. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Uh, by the way, can I maybe go into challenge mode? Uh, could I? Could I? You know what? Look, give me, give me a sec. 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 So uh, we can do this. We can do this. I. Uh, what dice did we use to? <laughs> you know what? Let me actually build up exactly how I was, and we're gonna fight against the void dragon here. Yeah, I can fight against the Void Dragon with exactly what I had. So, uh, give me a sec to set up the build the, the way I had it. It's not gonna take me that long. Okay, I am back. Uh, so, I, I, I looked up at the footage. This is what I had. 4d4, 1d6. Uh, wait a minute, is this right? 4d4, 1d6. Yeah, give me a sec again. Yes, so looked it back up again. So I had 44, 1d6, 2d12s, and 2d20s. This is literally what I had. 
And then for the for the blessings, these are the ones we had. Literally, I, I didn't use the ones that said that I have an offhand or I have a main hand or whatnot because at the end of the day, they don't matter. I can just put it whatever items I want. So those are the only blessings I didn't really include. And then these are the items we had. The only thing I changed, the only thing is that I quote unquote, quote unquote, cheated by making the fire orb be plus. Okay, so instead of being able to input two dice into this, I decided to be able to put out three dice into this. And the reason why I did that is because one way or another, I mean, let's be serious about this. I would have taken the upgrades here because I would have taken either an outblessing blessing or an upgrade on the fire orb because on the path that was going to be happening. So I decided, you know what, instead of adding whatever blessing I want, I'm just going to give one level on the fire orb and that's that. Also, at some point, I'm pretty sure we would have upgraded two, three things, right? So let's say that there was, let's say there were four fights in front of us. The D6 would have became a D8 and then a D10 and then maybe a d20 so uh, theoretically i just got three wins and i decided to go with upgrade and then i also at some point in the shop decided to go with upgrade an item and went for the fire orb that's the only difference here i would have obviously went for blessings and would have made the run better with blessings instead of going for upgrading the fire orb but this is the easiest way to uh, quote unquote have a fair fight uh, i have 96 life normally i had 95 in the game so i can't really put 95 into this like this doesn't allow you to as you see i can't click here to change the number i have to go by hand and my hand it goes three up at a time I mean, look at this. It literally goes up three at a time. So we're going to go with 96. Come on. Uh, nine, yeah, 96. And then the opponent is literally the Void Dragon. So uh, let's go and fight the Void Dragon, which is the final enemy. Skeleton Void Dragon, normal Void Dragon, Void Sunstorm, no Void Dragon. This is the fight. So if we lose, we lose. You know, let's actually lose. Who knows? Who cares? And this is the actual Void Dragon. So um, hopefully we're going to be able to beat this. I mean, yeah, this is not the Void Dragon visibly, but cannot be removed. They changed this. This used to be, didn't say cannot be removed. So I can use my dice right away. Uh, he's going to attack us for a lot. I guess we're getting hit here. Burn them on 21. Let's pass. Uh, we, we have the 45, but he's going to attack us three times because that's how Spike works. And we got hit, actually. And now the fight shall begin. So uh, let's go. Uh, by the way, this is a fight for everybody that stayed here at the end with us to watch uh, the final fight. Let's go with 59 block. Okay, we're going to do the reroll here. I imagine if the bug is also lost. Nope, we still maintain the bug power. <laughs> still maintain the power of the bug. 136. Kabumi. And uh, I would even go as far to say let's, let's also use these three into this one for 3D to burn. And we're going to roll these to fix all of these. Let's now start using this and also this and also this. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage very quickly. So I do enjoy that a lot. We're going to keep the trinkets for the final phase where he gets like million attacks. So he's down to his almost deathbed. Uh, I'm going to say this is a nine. We're going to roll this first. Ah, that wasn't good. Well, whatever. We're going to take these and throw them into the shield. So everything becomes bigger. Now we're going to roll this again. Okay, now we're going to go for these three into the katana. We're also going for... Here we go. We changed phase. So now it can attack one more time per turn. I'm okay with this. We're going to remove both trinkets when he gets double attack per turn. So we're going to go like this. This is how the fight would have gone, okay? Like, no matter how you look into this, this is literally how the fight would have gone. So, um, yeah. I mean, you might agree with it. You might not agree with it. Uh, but, yeah. That, 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 this is it. <laughs> 69 defense for one turn there. We're still blocking everything. Very nice. He has 44 burn. Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue with my tactics. Let's roll this into something better. 30. Ooh, god roll. God roll. Let's snipe him. 134 damage. 63 left. You know what? We're gonna snipe the 63 here with you. So, uh, we're gonna say roll this. We're gonna go 16 plus 15 is 62. I need 63. So, we're gonna go 16 plus, I guess, 21 pretty much forced. And now, this is the final phase. Double attack. We're gonna just remove the double attack. So now he became actually weaker instead of more powerful. And uh, now I'm going to say we throw these three numbers into this as something weird happened here. I don't know. And let's also throw these two numbers into this. We roll the 7, 16 to fix my orbs. And let's fire 162 power katana and 74% uh, damage. Yeah, we would have destroyed the boss. Like we would have eaten through the boss like breakfast. And don't tell me that uh, we ate through the boss because of the offhand with the dice upgrades. Because that those were literally going to happen. No matter how you look at it. I would have definitely invested into exactly what I'm invested. Oh, I just pressed that button. Now it is what it is. Let's go with a super attack with 170 damage, katana strike, and a good old 82 sword. And we won. And as you said, it was even transforming the, the picture. So theoretically, 
theoretically, I just proved to you that we won. <laughs> so uh, now I can say that the bug killed the run. So I really, really, the thing I was mentioning in the like the moment the bug happened, that, that is actually factually true. The fact of the matter is we used the bug to get to the boss and then the bug get, took our, our win away because I was abusing it too much. So it, it was a very, very uh, justice move there from the game. Uh, still, the bug's gonna definitely gonna be fixed because as far as I know, as I said, the dev is watching these videos so he's not <laughs> gonna go and fix that i would assume right anyway if you really enjoyed uh, at this point i'm not gonna you know continue having a big run going on i hope you guys enjoyed if you did likes and comments and subscriptions and whatnot everything is welcome we're closing into the 100k so yeah that is going to be it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed and as always thanks for watching and see you guys around